Hi, this is Chris Rodkey with Vinyl Bomb going over the production methods for the Rodkey face shield. Uh, basically going to show you how we do this and answer some questions I've had from handing out the, the free template. So this is, uh, this is our laser cutter. Uh, we're at Speedy 400, where it's a CO2 laser, 120 watts, but we're cutting through 020 PETG. And we also use this for the polystyrene headband strips we glue the foam to. The, the, we route both parts as well, but uh, depending on you know what parts we need or if we're in assembly, it, we'll be using the laser cutter or the router for this. Right now, here's the router. We're doing the two-inch foam. A lot of people had a lot of trouble with this trying to cut through it. I'm using an oscillating blade. It's about an inch and a quarter long to cut guides through, and then our guys are just following the guides with the alpha blade. It's an alpha 25 millimeter blade they're using to finish the cut with. And if you do not have an oscillating tool, the, the alpha blade is the correct tool to use to try to cut it through in one shot. You can get about four inches of blade out. Here's Lozak right now. He's cutting it through the guide right now, just slicing it into blocks and be the same method if you didn't have a guide. Here's Gustavo. We're using, we're using uh, hot glue. You could use low temp or high temp. The high temp seems to bite better, but you have to be a little bit careful because the polystyrene at O20 is heat sensitive. So working out really good. And here's Andreas. He's our senior designer project manager. Right now he's stripping back uh, pre-mask front and back to get ready for the, the final assembly when we put the, the headpiece on there and the elastic and gets cinched through the edges of the, the face shield. Here's Frank. Uh, he's hot gluing as well. We have two guys hot gluing right now, getting all the parts ready. So he'll put a, a little strip on there back and forth, and he's got the foam block lined up to the polystyrene so he knows where to start and where to stop so we don't have hot glue seeping out the edge of this. And you'll notice there are there is white foam and black foam. They're, they're both the same thing. It's just a matter of what's available and what I can get my hands on. Here's Bernie. This is the elastic, and we're cutting that elastic on an angle so it's a little easier to fish through uh, the face shield and the polystyrene as opposed to it being square. So he's cutting on a little bit of an angle. That's a that's a hot knife for uh, rope. Found that at McMaster Car. Works really great for this. Now here I am. We're gonna show you the final assembly of this. So we're getting a headpiece. And by the way, on on the template that you download, the the cinch is intentionally 50 thou smaller than the elastic. So one inch elastic, it's a 0.95 uh, vertical slot. If you're doing three quarter, you want to go 0 0.70, half inch is 0.45, depending on the elastic that you get. It needs to be tight and needs to have a little bit of grip. So when you tighten that, it doesn't come sliding loose and want to uh, fall off the head. So what's going to happen is the head's going between the foam and the elastic. You're going to cinch it. It will be tight on its own, but for added uh, security measure, the elastic that is hanging will be tied behind your head like you're the Karate Kid. So that's a little added security measure to make sure these aren't going to come slipping off when they're needed the most. Um, and we're going to be showing you Bernie, the COVID kid, is going to show you how to put this on. Between Head goes between the foam and the elastic, gets cinched, gets pulled tight, conforms to your head. The extra material gets tied in the back. You're the Karate Kid. There you go. And uh, it's, it, it's, it definitely is a one-size-fit-all. It has a, a drip shield on the top as well. And here's a couple more photos. Any questions, send it to Rocco at VinylBomb.com. Please, let's help each other, and let's all be safe out there and be smart.